What's going on FTD fam? I got a video for you guys. We're gonna be looking at two Muslim converts who they're gonna be visiting the Kaaba for the very first time. So I could imagine like their minds are gonna be blown. My biggest dreams to see you. This is our last prayer here, and I'm so, so sad to go. It's time to pray. We just prayed Zuhur, and now we are going to be heading off to Mecca, inshallah. Mecca, um, Oh my god. I, I feel really sad that I'm leaving, and I haven't fully contemplated that I'm leaving yet. Like, in my mind, I still think that I've got Astra to pray here, but realistically, yeah, we're leaving soon. And, Oh, I don't want to go. I was I want to go to Mecca really badly, but I don't want to leave here. I was literally saying to my friend Lara this morning, I think I'm going to get a job working in the hotel like as a cleaner or working on the buffet because I love the dal here. <laughs> I don't want to go. Um, all good things gotta come to an end sometimes. To be honest, I didn't film anything until I finished doing Tawaf. Now I finished doing Tawaf. I'm just waiting for the rest of the group. So now I'm just waiting, but I honestly can't look at the Kaaba without just getting so emotional because you know what? I just keep thinking like, why did Allah choose me? Like out of all the people in the world, why did Allah choose me? Like, why did Allah choose me to be Muslim? Oh, Very interesting question. Yeah, why? How was it? How did you find it? It's weird. It's really hard to like connect when there's so many people around. I don't know. You're like really good at that, but I feel it's not. I just couldn't. I cried the entire time. I might even be haram. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if you're allowed to cry while doing tawaf. Oh, why? I don't know. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We just had zum zum and, and made dua while facing the Kaaba, looking at the Kaaba and drinking zum zum. Damn. <laughs> you know it's weird like I just feel so like blessed to be here I just feel like I'm so happy yeah. like you're like crying like crazy but I just feel really happy like I just feel really like content and blessed you guys have so much going on as well that it's just like yeah it's a bit mad here in, in Saudi I love it so the much situations though. that we've gone through I love it so much. Like, nobody would believe what's happened on this trip Nobody believes. Wow. wow, so two friends experiencing the trip in similar ways but also different expressions of how they're feeling are coming out. <laughs> she's crying, she's all happy and like, whoa, what's happening here? <laughs> Let's see what happens next. Be with me, 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 me
just I just cut my hair. I have no idea what piece of hair it was, but I officially am not in Ihram anymore, and it feels so weird. <laughs> I just got back from Umrah. Alhamdulillah. I didn't get that many shots because obviously I didn't want to record too much because I wanted to do Umrah. So every time. I wasn't doing some kind of ibadah, we had like a break, we were waiting for people and stuff. That's when I filmed. Mm. But I really, really wanted to film the experience. One, for selfish reasons, because I wanted to look... I wanted to look back on the video once I go back to London to remind myself of the experience, of the way I felt, of the way I was connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also because I wanted to inspire that in other people, inshallah. That's always one of my missions. So when we walked into the masjid, you know, we make the du'a, we go into the masjid, the the sheikh, the leader of our group, he said to us, you do not look up until I say so. So everyone had to look down, right? So, mm. And I'm just like, I've already started crying at this point because I'm just like imagining seeing it and I'm just so excited. And we get there and then the sheikh is like, okay, look up. And then me and Nyla, we just can't, we just can't look up. We're I just looked up and I just burst into tears. I was wow. crying, I was crying for ages. And that was it, I cried for the entire thing. I just couldn't stop crying. I don't know what it was. I honestly don't know why I couldn't stop crying. I don't know whether it's... There were lots of different things that kept coming into my mind, right? I kept thinking, like, uh, I, it was a lot of gratitude. I was feeling so blessed to be there. I was feeling so blessed that Allah made me Muslim. These were things that kept going through my head. I was also thinking about, like, the Prophet Wasallam and the hardships he had in Mecca. And I was thinking about Ibrahim and Alayhi Wasallam. Um, and building the Kaaba and... I was thinking about Allah and all the amazing things Allah has done for me and I was feeling like I don't deserve any of those things and I was so grateful for the fact he'd done so much for me and then and then a lot of it was coming from guilt feeling like guilt. I wasn't doing enough ibadah when I was in the UK oh. like I wasn't praying enough I mean obviously I was doing my fard but I wasn't going the extra mile I wasn't putting too much effort on top of that so before I came here, I thought I was doing well. Like, I thought I was a good Muslim. But now since I've been here and I've experienced, like, true ibadah, like, just dedicating entire days to just reading Quran and praying and going to the mosque, it's a completely different feeling. I mean, these were all the things that were going through my head. And I think just pure astonishment and amazement at the Kaaba and the black stone and just the fact that I was there it was just all so overwhelming and we prayed our two rakat and then we went um and we did safar no we drank zam zam water zam zam and water and then we went and did safar marwa and that was also such an experience that was a different experience so like for the tawaf I couldn't stop crying for the whole thing I cried the entire time but when we're doing safar and marwa it was a different feeling. I wasn't crying. It was pure happiness. Like I was seeing so much white light and I was so calm. Like I felt so stress free for the first time in ages. And it was just praising Allah, making dua. I made um, your duas as well. I went through all the comments and I did that. It took me a while. And that was, that was a different feeling. But that was also equally amazing. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is I wish that all of you can experience it. And any of you that have experienced it, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, she seems so Allah. grateful and happy and... Wow. La ilaha illallah. Um, SubhanAllah, uh, completed Umrah today. Um such an amazing experience you know there's so many different aspects of it like the community it's quite quiet compared to normal I think still um, but it's busy enough to feel like somebody said it beautifully like there's still Muslims in the ummah like there's still an ummah mm. 
Mm. You know, sometimes, especially when we live in the West, we don't really congregate unless it's prayer time. You kind of forget about that, subhanAllah. It's such a blessed thing to do. And you just, you feel, you feel Allah so close to you. You feel the angels so close to you. You really feel like whatever dua you make is going to get answered. Um, this whole experience, this whole trip in general has, it's been so crazy. Like Allah invited me here and I've learned so much since I've been here. I've changed so much since I've been here. I don't think I can go back home and be the same person. Maybe even 50% of me isn't going to be the same person as I was when I left. Skip your next beach holiday hmm. and book Umrah. In your life, if you come with the right intentions, I don't think it'll ever be the same again. Inshallah. Okay, got to see a little inside look at what it's like to go to the uh, Kaaba and uh, you know just uh, walk around it, just be there, experience the whole place. And from what I get from this video, it's just it's unlike anything else like it's so different and uh, i assume it would be especially if you're a muslim and you're not necessarily used to being around so many muslims at once just experiencing you know places that the prophets walked you know there, there's a there's a deep connection there so i of course i could imagine how they could be so emotional and even though i said like you know, they're two friends in this video. They're watching and they're experiencing the same thing, looking at the, the same thing, but also experiencing it differently, their own unique experiences. You know, uh, Aisha Rosalie, she was crying and emotional and tearing up and, you know, just so grateful, like, wow, how, why did Allah choose me to be a, a Muslim? I'm just so thankful that I can experience this. And, you know, just her whole thoughts about experiencing the guilt that she may not be doing enough like she could be doing more in her muslim life back home so th those emotions as well too and uh nyla edwards who uh, spoke last the who the video ended off with was just saying that it's it's so different like it, it makes you really feel that and and really recognize that there actually is a muslim community there and sometimes as a Muslim, you feel very connected from the community, but no, it's actually there. And, you know, experiencing that is very life changing. It's for sure something I would want to experience because I just love uh, exploration. And I don't necessarily know all the rules of, you know, having non Muslims visit the Kaaba and walking around it and entering it. I, I think you got to be Muslim. But either way, just still going to uh, Mecca and uh, even Medina, you know, just seeing th those places, you know, just experiencing the whole vibe, looking at the architecture and everything. I think it'll be an amazing experience as well. So that's just my two cents on this, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for hanging out with me in this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.